gems welcome back to my channel so today I'm back with another video of me demonstrating how I use some hair care products today's product line is from Inasi Naturals um, new products to me probably old to others I actually first heard about this brand last year right before um, Thanksgiving around that time and I don't know how long they've been out but again that was my first time actually hearing about them and I decided to try their products out because again their ingredient list is great it's very clean short and straight to the point and that's what I'm trying to build my hair care collection around more clean natural hair care products so I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like I have not been taking care of my hair the way I used to so I'm not washing my hair every week like I would if I was actually working outside of my home and having to make sure my hair looks presentable for people now that I work from home this is how I look every day <laughs> unless I'm trying to film a video or actually going to the store or whatever and even when I that's not good we're not even gonna go there because I'd be looking a hot mess but um what's under this bonnet is something serious okay so don't don't judge me yeah so today i'm going to be using first inasi natural soothing mint sulfate free clarifying shampoo uh, and then i'm following up with their mango hemp restorative hair mask deep conditioner And to moisturize my hair after I wash that out, I'm using their Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. To style my hair, I'm using their Rock Your Curls Curl Enhancing Cream and their Coconut Avocado Curl Defining Custard. So for these, I got the sample sizes because so many times I buy full size styling products, they don't work for my hair and I end up having to give them away or they sit on my shelf. So I was really happy when I saw that they offer sample sizes and I should be able to get about at least two, two uses out of these. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm probably gonna do a twist out using this. But I might do um, a different style twist out. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel, but I'm using these two to style my hair. I also bought their Soothing Mint Moisturizing Conditioner. However, being that I'm going to deep condition my hair, I usually don't really use regular conditioner before I deep condition. So I might use this to detangle my hair before I wash it. I don't know yet. We'll see, because my hair is a hot mess under here. So I might need to detangle first just so that my process goes a little smoother. I'm not going to talk through this video again. It's just a demonstration to show you guys how I use my, these products and how they work for my hair. And I'll follow up with a review in another video. So watch and enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. So quick disclaimer, I actually recorded this video back in March, March 2nd to be exact. However, I decided not to do an entire different video as my review. I'm actually gonna make this voiceover my review um, just because I realized I don't really have much to say about these products. They're nice, but they're not great. But um, let's get right into it. So I'm starting off with the soothing mint sulfate free clarifying shampoo and this has to be my um the best product out of the line to me right here you're gonna see that the shampoo isn't giving me as much sud as a shampoo should and my facial expression shows it i'm like what is going on however my hair was very dirty so i knew that had to be the reason so i decided to rinse it out and try to shampoo for a second time but before i did that I decided to use the soothing mint moisturizing conditioner just to see how it feels in my hair and see if I'll be able to detangle with it and um, although it's a decent rinse out conditioner you cannot well I was not able to detangle with it at all like it just it just didn't give enough slip to do that and I probably could have do it with my detangling brush being that my hair was wet but uh, 
it just wasn't worth the time so here is me doing the second shampoo in this section and look at that the suds is like there <laughs> so I really do love this shampoo it does what it says is a clarifying shampoo and the mint is amazing I love any shampoo that gives my hair that my scalp that tingly feeling um, it just makes me feel like it's actually stimulating my scalp and hair growth so the shampoo is a thumbs up I do love it I do see myself repurchasing that moving on I followed up with the mango hemp restorative hair mask and deep conditioner and um, this hair mask was nice one thing I will say is that it does have hydrolyzed oat protein in it and um, you know if you have protein sensitive hair you might not want to use it it does not give any slip however my hair did feel great after rinsing it out it was soft and manageable despite the fact that my hair wasn't detangled yet um, what I repurchased that I would say I can see myself picking it up if I needed it but um, I do feel that I have deep conditioners that works better in my hair so it won't be at the top of my list just to be honest um, after putting that in my hair I deep conditioned for uh, several hours actually and once I rinsed that out I followed up with the leave-in to moisturize my hair and I used the aloe hibiscus leave-in conditioner and detangler and I just have to say that this was the most disappointing product out of all of them because it says that it is a detangler and it was so hard to detangle my hair with this like I edit this part a lot but I was literally there for a long time detangling each section so I would not repurchase this and I just have to say this aloe hibiscus leave-in smells exactly like Shea Moisture Hibiscus Lime like I swear they use the same exact fragrance but um Anyways, I did moisturize my hair with it, and then once I was ready to style, I used the Rock Your Curls Curl Enhancing Cream, followed by the Curl Defining Custard. And the cream, I would say I won't be able to use as a styler by itself. It didn't do much for my hair, but once I added the custard, my curls began, began to pop. And let me say, tell you, this custard has so much slip. It has more slip than any other product in this line. And I could have probably detangled my hair with that custard. But um, once applying it and twisting it in, you see that it did give a lot of product residue. But that was wiped off and it dry without any white showing on my twist. So that was fine. But... Once I was finished, I let my hair air dry and uh, I actually did this in the morning and it was dried by like 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I was actually getting ready to go out so that was perfect timing. So here I am taking down one of the twists in the bank back and <laughs> look at those curls. Listen, this product defined my curls so much. It is like a very um, strong holding gel. So my, my twist actually had that like cast feeling on it and my hair did feel a little dry afterwards, but it did define my curls a lot. So that is a plus. Uh, would I be purchased? No. And let me tell you why. This is the moment where I realized that my hair had flakes and you can see the look on my face when I realized it, like I was so disappointed. So not only is the curling custard a little drying and gave my hair a cast feeling it also gave my hair flakes so um, just a tip if you ever were to use this you want to you know coat your hand with some oil and uh, there's really nothing you can do about the flakes I assume so I was kind of disappointed especially because I was heading out right after this but I was happy that my curls were popping look at that look at that curls are popping however like I said I wouldn't repurchase the custard um, 
it's just not worth it to me so that is all this is the final look and i do like how my hair came out minus the flakes and the dryness and the custard is so strong that it actually laid my edges which was nice and that's about it um that's how i feel about each and every one of those products i probably would only repurchase the sulfate free shampoo and the restorative hair mask everything else i would not repurchase but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do like how my hair came out in terms of the style and the, the curl definition. But the products are not something to rave about. And that's just my honest opinion. It might work better in your hair. So try it out if you like. Anyways, that's all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys will see me in my next video. Man, we back when you talk to Anybody come wrong playing? Oh, I, man said she got me hooked to I, And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic and everything you do. I,